Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming my eyeshadow palette ranking video. So if you guys like to see me sweat, then uh, yeah, just keep watching because uh, February was brutal for me. If this is your first time on my channel, welcome. My name is Karen Harris. I like to film tan girl friendly makeup videos here on YouTube. Here on my channel, I love all things eyeshadow palettes. And then my second favorite is definitely blush. So every month I like to sit down and rank my eyeshadow palettes that I tested out in the previous month. It's just a fun way for me to review palettes tell you guys my favorites, tell you guys my least favorites. I also mix in older palettes, so things that I use as part of my shop, my stash, just things that I get sent that might have launched in previous years, or if I feel like picking up an older palette and putting it in, I do all kinds of fun stuff. So February was a brutal month for me. We have like 15 palettes to rank. So yeah, if you guys uh, like watching me suffer and struggle, yeah, this is, this is the video to watch. So let's go ahead and get into it. Also, since YouTube is my job, some of this makeup does get sent to me. I tried to put the word gifted on the screen whenever I'm talking about something that was sent to me. And I also like to put my affiliate codes on the screen as well, just in case you guys are looking for some savings. And I will also try and link and put all my affiliate codes in a pinned comment for you guys if you're interested in shopping any of these palettes. Some of those codes will make me a commission. Some of those links will make me a commission. So I just always want to be transparent with you guys and say thank you for helping me out using my links and codes and supporting this channel. So let's start off with number 15. And listen, this is like kind of painful because I just like so badly want to be on the Rare Beauty PR list because have you seen those blushes she's launching? <laughs> but I did get a little package when they were celebrating like National Mascara Day and one of the palettes was included. And it's this little eyeshadow palette. It's called the Sincerely Me palette. I know she's coming out with a new one. I don't know when this one launched. I think it's a little bit older, but either which way, this is from Rare Beauty and I just was not impressed with the formula or the color story. Well, the color story is pretty basic. I mean, I get it. I get why this makes sense for Sephora. I think the palette is a great size because it's gonna fit so nicely in your makeup bag and things like that. But the quality of the shadows is just not what I'm into. So that's why I'm putting this at number 15. Please don't come for me. I am definitely team Selena. So yeah. I really like the brand, but this was just not it for me. Okay, in 14th place is this little palette. Honestly, I really regret buying this. I just was feeling like I needed to treat myself. I'd gone to a doctor's appointment and I was like, let me just go see if the new Huda palettes are available at Sephora. This one is just so like basic, which there's nothing wrong with that. Again, another palette that I think will do so well at Sephora because this is what people like to wear every day. It's just a different, you know, vibe. Different people have different preferences. So I think this is a fabulous palette if you like to have some easy everyday go-to neutrals. I think that if I showed my friends this palette and I showed them the number one palette, most people would want this palette, not the number one palette, even though I think the number one palette is fabulous. But you know, it is what it is. So this is in 14th place. Also, in case you guys are wondering what is on my eyes, it is one of the looks I created with the new Nomad palette. So I will link the video in case you guys missed it. I'm not sure when this ranking video is going to go up. So yeah, definitely make sure you go check out the video on the Royal Europe collection if you haven't seen that palette yet because it's absolutely gorgeous. Okay, in 13th place, another palette I regret buying. Listen... So many of you kindly told me that this was not the color story for me. And yes, I am aware I am a like medium tan skin tone. So yeah, I know this blush looked kind of crazy on me and I probably should have known better, but I do collect Natasha Denona and 
So I did buy the Love Face palette when it launched on Look Fantastic. And I was a little bit disappointed. I will say overall, I just don't feel like the quality was as good as the Glam Face palettes. I have both of those and they're absolutely fabulous. This one just didn't feel as high quality as I'm used to with Natasha Denona's eyeshadows. So that's really why I'm ranking it so low. Okay, in 12th place, we have the new mod 7 Pan Palette from Sigma Beauty. This one I'm ranking a little bit lower just because you guys know that my heart is like mostly like 70% colorful shadows and like 30% neutrals. And I definitely consider this like more of a basic palette again. If I showed my friends this palette and I showed them the number one palette, I know a majority would want this palette, not the number one palette. So I get that there's a place for palettes like this in this world. And this is great. The quality is great. I really like the full size palette from Sigma. Um, nothing wrong with it. I just, you know, it's just okay for me color story wise. Okay, we gave this one a little bit of a bump. This is an older palette. I did have this in my shop, my stash for February. This is the Limelight palette in the Limelight from, um, I was gonna say Urban Decay, from ColourPop. And I bought this and I didn't use it and I put it in my shop, my stash so I could try it out and give you guys some thoughts. It's a very beautiful lime monochromatic palette. Works really nice, perfectly fine. Is it gonna blow your panties off? Probably not, but it's a nice palette from ColourPop, so I'm happy I finally tried it. And if you guys want to check out my Shop My Stash series, it's a fun way for me to try old products in my collection and give you guys fresh new reviews on them. So highly recommend if you're interested in Shop My Stash. And then in 10th place, we gave it to the Beauty Bay Retro Love Palette. This is a really, really nice pastel palette. I think they did a good job giving us some dark mattes as well. I feel like a lot of the pastel palettes, my problem is they're so one note and there's no shades to kind of deepen things up. It's really hard for me to get along with pastel palettes and so I feel like this is one that was done well. So I put it in 10th place. Okay, in ninth place we have the two palettes from Game Beauty. I will say my favorite thing about this Game Beauty collection that they did is actually their like multi-chromes. They sent me four of their multi-chromes and it was so fun to pair those with these palettes. I will say I haven't actually worn just the palettes. Every single time I did a look with these, I did use a multi-chrome and that was really fun. So maybe, maybe I'm saying that it wasn't the palettes that made these pop, it was maybe the multi-chromes, but I think these are really cool. This was my first time trying Game Beauty and I think they did such a fabulous job. If you haven't seen my three looks with this collection, highly recommend checking it out. The multi-chromes are amazing, the blushes are amazing, the eyeliner pens are amazing, and the eyeshadow palettes are really nice too. So not really a very new release, but yeah, I tried them out in February, so I wanted to include them in this ranking. Okay, this is a little bit of a surprise, but in eighth place, I wanted to give it to the Huda Cool Matte Obsession Palette because I really like the look I did with this one. I was pleasantly surprised because I thought I would like the warm version more, but this one caught me off guard. It is beautiful. It didn't need to be a nine pan palette. It could have definitely been just like a quad or something, but it's nice, it's fun, I'm gonna keep it, and I really had fun playing with this with another palette because I think I did like a get ready with me or something where I combined two of the palettes in this video and it was really fun to pair this with some of my favorite shimmers. So yeah, this is in eighth place. Okay, I think this is where it just gets spicy because all of these palettes are amazing. All of these palettes I wish I could give number one spot to but like I said, I love to do this. I love to rank them because it's so fun and you guys get such a kick out of watching me rank stuff. So in seventh place is the Moonfall palette from Shroud Cosmetics. This is a beautiful grungy palette. I just love how this was the month of Valentine's and like all of the palettes are like grungy, deep, dark, like my soul is in agony. <laughs> type palettes but I love it I love it so much this is a beautiful palette very much a murky you know deep color story so 
very, very beautiful. And yeah, I'm just happy to see that Shroud is slowly cranking up those palettes because they've been around for a long time. They're like an OG, OG brand. So yeah, it's fun to see them launch new things and try new things. It's very, very fun. Okay, honestly, like again, these palettes could have all been the number one palette, but I had to do it. So I'm ranking this palette from Adept in sixth place. So this is the Le I don't know, but it's the first neutrally palette that I've seen Adept do. And it's beautiful, but like I said, my heart is like 70% color, 30% neutral, so that's why it's ranking a little bit lower. As always, amazing quality from Adept. I love, love, love. Um, the multi-chromes are absolutely beautiful. I did go ahead and pick this up. I think this was in their mystery box, so that was really fun to be able to play with it. I have not used their eyeliners. <laughs> I have the eyeliners. I put them in my little drawer saying like, Karen, remember to use the eyeliners, and I haven't used them, but I do like that palette, and I'm excited for you guys to be able to pick it up. I don't think it ever launched on its own, but I know they said that it will eventually launch on its own, and I know a lot of you are excited for that day, so I hope you get a chance to get your hands on it. I was trying really hard to like really rank this stuff, so I did rank the Chucky palette from Glamlight in fifth place, and this palette definitely surprised me. I was so shocked to see how many of you commented how much more dimensional this palette looked in like, I don't know if it was a reel I had posted or on my YouTube channel, but so many of you were so surprised because you thought this was like a very one note palette until you saw it swatch. So that made me really happy. I got some really good feedback on that video, which made me happy. I had so much fun playing with this palette because it really pushed me outside of my comfort zone. I have always been terrified of wearing like really dark eyeshadows for a long, long time. And I've gotten tips from my friends and watching other creators who are way more talented than me do really smoky eye looks. And I feel like I've gotten a lot better at doing smokier looks. And I gave a lot of tips that I thought helped me in that video. So if you guys are intimidated by a palette like this, like I am, Check out that video, I am very proud of it, and I think this is such a beautiful palette. So, so underrated, although actually, it's not really underrated because I'm pretty sure this like sold out like multiple times, and Glamlight is having like an insanely hard time fulfilling their order, so yeah, I mean, <laughs> if you were thinking about this, if this scares you, I mean, you know, they say sometimes to do something that scares you, and I feel like an eyeshadow palette is pretty low commitment. Um, some of you also told me that you like hate this movie, so this is like terrifying to you. But I mean, I'm not like the biggest scary movie person, but it's just an eyeshadow palette. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just an eyeshadow palette. I'm not scared. Anyway, okay, in fourth place is the beautiful, the amazing Fantasy Cosmetica. This is their Rogue palette. And I personally feel like this is their best color story they've done. I just love this. Again, grungy with all those beautiful multi-chromes that are so, so fun. I did use this with the Huda Cool Tone Mattes Obsession palette and it was just perfection. So yeah, I've had a lot of fun with this palette. And if you just wanted like the death side of the Nomad palette, but you didn't want to get the whole Nomad palette, maybe consider this one because it has those similar vibes. It's not exactly the same, but it's got the vibes if that helps you out. Okay, in third place, because ranking these separate would feel like I was, I don't know, I, I think I would rather like saw off a finger than have to like pick a favorite of these, but I wanted to rank the three palettes from the latest Odin's Eye collaboration together. I just have such respect for all of these creators. I have met Amanda in person. She is so, so fabulous. So this palette did sell out. I believe it restocked. I don't remember the date off the top of my head. So hopefully you guys were able to get your hands on this. I feel like this is the most wearable palette that um, Odin's Eye has done recently because as I keep saying, if I was going to hold this palette up and the number one palette, I feel like a lot of my friends would pick this one because it has some really beautiful wearable shades in it. So congratulations to all of the collaborators. But 
love that one love lauren's palette oh my gosh that shade called electric kelp will just like i don't know go down as one of my favorite shadows of all time because it's such a beautiful neon yellow color that actually shows up on my skin tone which is very hard to do in my humble opinion so if you haven't seen my three looks with these three palettes you should definitely check it out. And last but certainly not least is the Betty Jean palette. And she just did such a cool job with all of these fun neon -y shades. And I just want to play with these palettes some more, you guys. I wish I had more time. And just, yeah, I just wish I had more time and more energy. <laughs> In case you didn't know, I'm like... At the time I'm filming this, I'm like two months away from having my second daughter. So I'm very pregnant, mostly very miserable, but then I have like spurts of energy. So then I film YouTube videos. And so yeah, I just wish I had more time <laughs> to play with all the eyeshadow palettes. But I do try to squeeze in eyeshadow playtime when she's napping, which is what I'm doing right now is filming. So in second place, oh my gosh, we have the most beautiful, the most amazing, the new Muse palette from Cosmic Brushes. They did such a good job. I mean, how do you top the Serenity palette? It is such a gorgeous palette. That was my second favorite palette of 2022, if you haven't seen my ranking video. I did post it rather late, but it's up, you know, better late than never. So that palette is stunning, and this is like the edgy cooler like cool tone sister both palettes are very very cool i don't mean cool in the sense of like cool i mean cool in the sense of tone i feel like this is a little bit more cool tone a little moody a little more grungy but still super super pretty so yeah so happy to have this and this one was sent to me from the brand as well so pretty again i just want to like smear it all over my face because that's how good it is. And then, of course, in first place, this one I would definitely love to smear all over my face. <laughs> but I had to give it to the Adept Arrow Inspired Palette. This one is discontinued, so you can't get it anymore. And, I mean, it's like just mattes, like green mattes. And like stunning, stunning multi-chromes. And so, in a sense, you could almost say it's not a very complicated palette. But multi-chromes just always amaze me. They always get me. They're so, so beautiful. So, like, I just had to give this the number one spot. So stunning. So just, like, pigmented, buttery, beautiful metallics. If you're balling on a budget and you want to try some multi-chromes, I would steer you towards Adept because I think I paid, like, 60-something dollars for this palette, which sounds like a lot, but... Realistically, if you were to buy a single multi-chrome, sometimes they can be like $30, $40. So realistically, you're kind of saving money if you go this route. Not that you have to, but that's just my opinion. So yeah, I really love Adept, really love this palette. So it is my number one palette of February. And I don't feel like if you follow me, you would be very surprised by that. That so. is it, you guys. That is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching me sweat that was tough i always like wait until the last minute to film these ranking videos because i'm like oh my god this is so hard but i did have fun because i got to talk about my favorite thing which is eyeshadow palettes so give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and check out some of my other videos and i will see you guys in another one very very soon